It's a birdie told me on Shaw Spotlight. I'm your host, Bruce Krentz, also a coach of the team, along with me, one of the other coaches. Always weird when you kind of interview your friends, but <laughs> here we go. Eric Gallo, how's the year gone so far for the Artie Parker badminton team? Uh, good so far. Things uh, a lot different than last year, going down to some tournaments in Winnipeg, um, playing lots of the kids that we're going to see up here for provincials this year. And so far we've done really well. A couple of third place finishes, a couple of upsets here and there, but that's expected in badminton. Yeah. For sure, it's been great, and we're sending a whole bunch of teams to provincials, which is kind of, you hate to say it as a coach, a weight off our back, because yeah. we'd hate to have nobody there. So uh, just give us a rundown of who's going to be there. We've got a couple boys doubles teams. Yep, so we have uh, two boys doubles teams, uh, Shiv and Allen, and then we have Hunter and Murphy. Um, and then from there we go to boys singles, where we have Gavin Alcock. Uh, we have the girls doubles team, we have Jenna and Felina followed by our mixed team of Josh and Samantha. So a full slate. Yeah, and uh, they all did really well at zones and they've, they've all showed up in the Winnipeg tournament, so that looks good. We've also sort of on our Norman team, we've got some kids coming up from Grand Rapids who are strong too. Yep, they're gonna definitely provide some good competition uh, along with all the other teams from down south in Winnipeg, uh, but we've kind of seen Grand Rapids and what they're all about. So hopefully we can fix some things and maybe pull off a couple more Ws. For sure, and badminton provincials for people that don't know is kind of a unique thing, even in the, the realm of high school provincials because we compete against everybody, quad A schools, single A schools. When you win, you're the best in the province. Yeah, for sure. Um, doesn't matter whether you're from a school of 45 or a school of 1500, uh, you're playing against everyone once you're at provincial. So you have a mixed bag and lots of different uh, levels levels yeah and lots of different kids so we're not sure yet we don't have the final numbers in but we're probably gonna have how many different schools represented here because you, you don't really come as a school you come as an individual so one region could send 10 schools right yeah um, from us up here I believe there's five or six different schools <laughs> yeah. that are being represented um, for the seniors alone um, but I would say anywhere from 50 to 60 different schools are going to be represented between, I think it's 256 athletes. Yeah. So, I mean, a huge event for us. Awesome for us to be able to host. We haven't hosted since 2005. The organizing committee has been working on this for... Ooh, I think the organizing committee has been since December. We kind of started oh, yeah. talking about things and uh, the whole athletics department here at Artie Parker has been... Phenomenal. Very excited about it too. Yeah. yeah. No, it is a big buzz and they've been showing up and putting in extra time. So we're really looking forward to having the provincials here. Provincials are Friday and Saturday. So May 3rd and 4th. Give us a little bit idea of the time. Um, so we'll start with things at 9 a.m. I believe it's boys doubles and girls singles starting here at the school. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, the girls doubles will start over at the TRCC followed by the boys singles and mixed doubles here at one o'clock. What, one o'clock ish. And so for people who haven't been to a badminton tournament before or one like this, explain how it goes because there's no set times. Nope, so there's a lot of chaos, lots of... <laughs> it's exciting and yeah, fun, but it's nuts. Lots of students everywhere, um, and things can go any which way. You might have a playoff to get into the playoffs, um, so things can run a lot longer than anticipated sometimes. Um, and with so many athletes, so many games going on, there can be some confusion at the end of the day. It can be, and the games are numbered, so you don't set times of the day, it's games one to, how many games will we have on Friday? 250? A minimum 250, yeah. And when one ends, the next one starts, so just come on down, it's non-stop action, it's not, you will never not have a game to watch. Yep, correct. There's always going to be a minimum of three games going on, on in one gym. <laughs> For sure. And the way that this works is Friday is a round robin and Saturday is when the playoffs are. So Friday basically seeds you for Saturday. Saturday playoffs start at 9? 9 a.m. Yep. And we just run until they're all done. Everything's done here at Artie Parker. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah, it'll be great. We shut down the TRCC. We're here. If people want to come down, we want to have you come down and watch and cheer. There is a little bit of an admission fee. Uh, yes, free. I believe it's $5 for Friday, uh, $10 for both days, and I think if you're just coming on Saturday, I think it's free. I think so. We'll, we'll slide you in the door if you just okay. show up for Saturday. We've got a bunch of great sponsors too. Go to the MHS Double Web A website to see that. we got Lima's, Bacos, RBC. It's just been phenomenal. Chicken Chef, the way, all the people that have jumped in on this. So get there and check it out. Do you know what the website is? 
mhsaa.com. <laughs> Perfect. Paul, will put the, he'll put the website right here. Oh, so great. that's where all the details are on the times and everything else. Eric Gallo, one of the coaches, uh, what's your expectation just as we wrap up? What are you hoping for this weekend? At I mean, obviously we want every kid to win, but... Uh, having every kid win is unrealistic, <laughs> so we're not going to go with that one. Um, provincials here in Thompson, it's always just been, I would say, an added bonus for a lot of these kids because badminton yeah, is not our number one sport. Um, so the number one thing is for the kids to go out and have fun. Uh, but obviously we want to see some improvement. Uh, they are playing a lot of those kids they met down in Winnipeg. So hopefully upset a couple that they didn't beat. Um, and I mean, we do have some high expectations for a couple of our teams. So a medal here, there would be nice. What a, spoken like a true coach, but also great words. No, you're absolutely right. The biggest thing is to be able to showcase our sport and for these kids to play at home. Yeah, for sure. 100%. Eric Gallo right here on Birdie Talk on Shaw Spotlight.